Hey everybody, it's Aaron Kaznitz here, your Baltimore Ravens beat reporter for PennLive.com and the Harrisburg Patriot News. Now, uh, we're, today we're going to be talking about a signing the Ravens made over the weekend when they signed uh, Derek Wolf, a defensive end, defensive tackle from uh, the Denver Broncos. That's where he played his first um, first eight NFL seasons, and he was really a move that was made essentially uh, kind of as a replacement for Michael Brockers, who last time we uh, we talked on this on this video here. Uh, we were talking about how the Ravens uh, did not end up with Brockers, how Brockers ended up, their deal fell through, and he ended up going back to the Rams. Um, now, Derek Wolf is the kind of guy who made a lot of sense when Brockers left for, for the Ravens to target. He's really pretty much a, a traditional defensive tackle, defensive end, in terms of where he's played in the past in that 3-4 system. So he's a logical fit uh, on the defensive line with Brandon Williams and Calais Campbell. Boom, you put Derek Wolf uh, in there at defense tackle, and you have a starting three uh, on the defensive line. Um, and Denver, what Wolf was best at was kind of working on combinations with Pro Bowl pass rusher Vaughn Miller. And, of course, Miller's considered one of the best outside linebacker pass rushers in the NFL. Uh, so th the thought is that maybe Wolf can really help Matthew Judon. Maybe he can help some other guys, um, Tyus Bowser, Jalen Ferguson, uh, being a guy who can maybe force a double team, maybe can get some uh, pass rush push up the middle and allow those outside linebackers to get more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Um, it's you know, uh, Ravens defensive coordinator Don Wink Martindale likes to be very creative, and Wolf gives him that option because he's a real pass rusher in in the defensive front, which the Ravens did not have last year. Uh, last season, Brandon Williams and Michael Pierce were the two best defensive linemen. Those guys were run stuffers. Uh, you had guys like Jahab Ward. You had guys like Chris Wormley. Other players like that who you know were were good role players you know did a lot of a lot of good things for the team but they weren't high caliber pass rushers wolf last year had seven sacks in 12 games before a dislocated elbow ended his season early in denver he is a quality pass rusher and obviously clays campbell who the ravens traded for earlier in the offseason uh he's had 31.5 sacks over the past three seasons he is one of the better interior pass rushers in the nfl so now the ravens have two guys like that which is what they wanted when the offseason started that said, Wolf is not the caliber of run defender that Michael Brockers is. Uh, he's he's not quite you know the complete versatile player that Brockers is. So this isn't a one-on-one -on -one replacement for Brockers in terms of what the Ravens expected to get, but it was a good path out of a bad situation because Wolf is the kind of guy who who does fit in that defense. He's the kind of guy who uh, the Ravens will be excited about adding and who can, you know, kind of make that a full starting front seven as opposed to the Ravens cobbling things together like they did last year. Uh, of course, Wolf has had some injury issues. He's only played in 16 games in one out of the last five seasons. He's always played more than 11 games, though, and he's coming off that dislocated elbow, and he's 30 years old. But if he holds up, if he's healthy, he does give the Ravens an element that they did not have last year, even if he's not quite up to uh, Michael Brockers' level in terms of a complete player who would have filled out the defensive line.